okay now we are done with this pagination now let's start with update i'll just open this one now inside this partials folder i'm having this user.php now inside this we have already created some of the functions for adding users for getting the rows of the users for getting the count how many rows are present inside the database we have just created some of the functions like uploading photo okay everything we have done okay now we are left with updating function deleting function and search function okay now inside the same class okay now we have already created this users class inside the same class itself i'm just going to create the functions now now here let me just copy this comment i'll just cut from here and here i'm just going to paste that one okay inside the class itself i am just going to create update function now okay like we have created for uploading photo getting the count in the same way i'm just going to create the function for updating the data now here i'm just going to write here public access modifier i'll be writing function function name let me just write here update inside this i'm just going to pass two parameters what data i have to update and from which field i have to update so here i'm just going to write here data and i'm just going to pass here field okay that is nothing but id okay you can pass any parameter name i'm just passing here data so that we can understand from which particular row i am just accessing the data okay now we are just going to check the condition if my id matches only then i will be taking the data from the database and that data i will be updating so i'm just writing here id field from id field which data i have to access i'm just writing that one now inside this i'm just going to write sql query update sql query i'm just going to write that one now inside this i'm just going to write the query update and from this table name let me just come from let me just come here i'll copy this one update table name and i have to set the values now inside this i'm just going to pass one variable that is nothing but fields okay from which fields i'm just going to access the data and where okay where i'm just going to give the condition where my id okay whatever column name i'm having inside the database i have to pass the same column name where my id is equal to this particular id okay we are using pdo so i'm just passing that one okay now this id we are just going to give here now once we are done with this we have to prepare for the statement now inside insert query we have already done this one okay we have just inserted the data then we have executed then we have prepared the data here if we use this prepare statement we will be preventing lot of sql injection so this entire thing i'm just going to copy from here so that we can avoid our time i'm just going to paste that one okay i have just written the query sql query to update the database now here i'm just preparing the statement okay entire thing i have just written that one inside try and catch block if i am having any updation i have to begin the transaction okay if i am having any update to do only then i have to do this transaction or else i have to roll back this one i don't have to change anything inside the database if i don't update any data inside this one okay whenever i click on this update button now whenever i click on this edit button i have to update this one if i don't edit if i don't update anything then i don't have to change anything inside the database okay that should be same okay this data should not be changed okay so for that here i'm just doing the rollback it should not change anything then i have to execute this one execute the statement before that i just have to get the id now here inside this inside this data i'm just going to pass this id and which will be equal to this id okay whatever parameter i'll be passing here which that will be equal to this id and this is nothing but my column name okay from my column name whatever id i'm having suppose if i am just accessing third id so third id data i'm just going to access i'm just comparing that one okay i'm just assigning this parameter value to this one then i'm just executing the statement then i don't need this last inserted id i'm just going to remove this and also i just don't need this one okay directly i'm just going to commit this changes okay you have to understand this one i'm just creating one function update inside that i'm just passing two parameters data and id okay from which particular id i have to access the data now inside this function i have just written this update query update table name set fields where my id is equal to that particular id whatever i click okay now here if i just come here now for khanam okay now here i have not displayed any ids now when i click on this whatever data i am having inside the database that data should be displayed and whatever id i am having for this one that id should be matching with inside my database and that data should be displayed for me so here i am just writing that one okay where if it is matches if this id whatever i am having inside the website if that id matches with my database only that particular data i have to update 
then here i'm just preparing for that statement inside the strike patch block i'm just accessing this parameter i'm storing inside this variable then i'm just executing that one and whatever changes i have done i am just committing that one so that once i commit this one only then it will be affected in the database and inside the database also the data will be changed and here i'm just doing begin transaction if i'm having any change only then i have to do this one or else i just have to do rollback okay so that it will not change anything inside the database okay now this everything whatever we have done that is static completely static we are not going to add any dynamic data so we need dynamic data whenever i click on that particular id that particular model should open and i, I have to display that data so dynamically we have to add the data here i'm just going to check the condition if not empty and inside this i'm just going to pass this data if my data is not empty only then i have to come inside this one and here i have to do some process now inside this i'm just going to create one variable fields initially i'm just going to assign empty value i don't want any data inside the field so i'm just assigning it as empty value i'm just going to create one variable x is equal to 1 okay initially for this variable i have assigned the value as 1 now here i'm just going to create one more variable that is nothing but fields count okay i have to count how many fields are there inside my database like id field name field email field i'm just counting that one so here i'm just creating one variable for that one fields count and inside that i'll just write here okay how many datas i'm just updating so i have to update that one okay i just have to count that one now here if i just show you whenever i click on this this is first field second field third field and fourth field totally i am having four fields here so i am just counting that fields okay how many fields i am having i am just counting that one okay this data is nothing but whatever data i am entering i am just counting that one now once i get this one i'll be writing here for each loop and inside this i am just going to pass this parameter data and here i'll just write here data as and inside this i am just going to pass this field okay and this field will be equal to the value okay whatever value i am entering i am just assigning that one okay you just have to pass this one okay you don't have to worry what we have written this is the syntax of for each loop i'm just passing this parameter as as my field is equal to value okay whatever value i'm just going to enter here whenever i click on this update button now here if i enter some value that is nothing but we are just accessing the value and each time whenever i enter some other data like if i just enter email email i am updating name i am updating mobile number i am updating which means that i am accessing all the values and each and every time i have to run this one so here i have just written this for each loop now inside this i am just going to write this fields dot now i just have to concatenate this one with my field value okay whatever i am having here i just have to concatenate with this one okay each time i am entering first value second value then third value then fourth value so totally i have to concatenate that one so here i am just going to copy this and this value i am just going to concatenate with this value let me just write in curly braces i'll just remove this one and before that let me just add this curly braces and inside this i'm just going to paste that field value i'll just copy this one and here i'll be pasting that field value now this will be equal to this particular value okay whatever value i'm having inside that one i'm just going to access and here i'm just going to store that one okay this is how even you are going to perform this field first initially i have just assigned it as empty value so this value plus this value okay whatever value i am just entering this value then again this value then again this value i am just concatenating with this one and then i am storing inside this fields then below this i am just going to check the condition if my x if it is less than this field count i'll copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay which means that i'm not okay if it is less than my field count which means i'm not updating any data inside the database then i just have to leave it as empty okay whatever i'm having here without updating any data i just have to leave it as empty and here i have to concatenate with this one and here i just have to separate with comma okay because inside insert you can see here whenever we are doing inserting we are just imploding that one okay we using this implode method we are just separating each value by comma so while updating if we don't have any change then we are just going to concatenate with this field and we are just separating with comma okay this is how even you are going to perform then next finally i'm just going to update this value okay each and every time whenever i am updating the data i just have to increase the value of x 
okay now you can see this is the first data then second data i'm increasing the value of x again i'll be increasing the value of x if i'm having some change again here also i'll be increasing the value of x okay this is how we are going to perform update function now let me just explain you whatever we have done i have just created one function update inside that i have just passed two parameters data and id now here i have just written this sql query update table name and here i'm just going to set the values fields where my id is equal to field now inside this once i have written this query i have to prepare for the statement and inside this try catch block if i am having any transaction or if i am having any updation then i have to do this one if i am not having any transaction then i have to roll back that one i don't have to change anything inside the database now once i am done with this transaction i have to get the id whatever i am having inside the database and which particular data i am updating i have to get that id and only that data i have to update then once i am done with this i have to execute the statement then i have to commit the changes whatever i have done while updating okay now this everything whatever i have done that is static okay i have not done any dynamic here only static data i have done to get it dynamic here i am just taking the condition if my data is not empty whenever i am updating i am not inserting any empty data if it is not empty then here i am just creating one variable fields and just initially i am just assigning it as empty value then here i am just creating one variable x is equal to 1 and here i'm just writing creating one variable fields count inside that i'm just counting the number of data whatever i'm updating now for i'm just creating here for each loop inside this for each loop i'm just creating this parameter data as field which will be equal to the values whatever i enter now inside this for each loop each and every time i have to run so here i'm just creating this fields and here i'm just going to concatenate with this values okay whatever values i'm just going to get i'm just going to concatenate with this one then once i get this one i'm just checking the condition if my dollar x okay if it is less than this field count okay now suppose if i'm having three now here i'm having this one one is less than three okay which means that i'm not having any change so i just have to write like that okay i just have to concatenate with comma comma i am writing here because inside insert query we have already done this implode method and each and every field we have just separated with comma so here i just have to write okay i just don't have to update anything so i just have to separate with comma and again i'm just increasing the value of x again it will come here if i just do second data update let me just close this one i'll just open this now this is the first data update now my x value will be increased now here again i'll be coming now again it will be increased okay like that it is going to perform and once it reaches the condition which means that i am done with the updation i don't have any column fields now i don't have any fields to update once i am done with this i can click on the submit button or update button the data will be updated okay now we have just created this function still we have not called this function we have not performed any action on this function now this is the common function we have created inside user.php now using ajax and javascript we are going to perform all the actions how we have done for inserting the data how we have done for getting the rows from the database in the same way we are doing for the update function then we will be moving on to the delete and viewing profile